Good morning. Um, Department of Counseling Psychology was originally part of Department of Psychology and Education. It's only last year that Department of Psychology and Education was created to do. Now we have Department of Counseling Psychology and we have Department of Educational Foundations. So we train counselors and then we are also in charge of the general education courses that other students in the department, all students in the department were offered. But now counseling psychology is in charge of training of counselors. Then educational foundation will come and talk about the general education courses. So now Department of Counseling Psychology, our mandate is to train professional counselors. And we are running guidance and counseling program. Now we have changed the program to counseling psychology to meet current demands. Because now that psychological association plays counselors as mental health professionals. So we need to change to suit the current trend. So now we are running, we are no more running guidance and counseling, but we are running counseling psychology. We run both undergraduate and programming courses. For undergraduates, we have two year post diploma. Counseling psychology, that is the Bachelor of Education. Then now we are starting the four year. So this year we have the four year counseling psychology, Bachelor of Education, four year counseling psychology. Then we have the two year post diploma counseling psychology. Then we have postgraduate courses, we have M Field Counseling Psychology, that is regular. Then we have MA, Master of Education, Counseling Psychology, that is sandwich. Then we also have the Doctor of Philosophy, Counseling Psychology, that is PhD. When you want to locate the department, our secretary is FES block. Faculty of Educational Studies Block, room 119. And that's the first point of call. If you're a student and you need any information, you go to the secretariat. You don't come to the HOD. If you go and they direct you to the HOD before you come to the HOD. So if you need any information, you go to FDS room 119. Then the HOD's office is FDS room. What, 301, the last one. Then the other officer's office, you can find her FES room 120, 120. Just the next office after the secretary. So if you have any issues with exam, that's where you get our exam office. We have an association called Student Counselors Association of Ghana, DW branch. We call it SCAG, S C A G, representing the Student Counselors Association of Ghana. So we meet, we are going to have our departmental orientation. For undergraduates, we will start at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. The venue is FES room 202. The notices are there. Then for postgraduates, we are going to start from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. And the venue is our language center. That is room 121, the same of FES. So in the morning from 8, we are going to deal with undergraduates. From 10, we will deal with the postgraduate students. Once you are admitted to the department, you will become an automatic member of SCAP. So when you meet tomorrow, we will continue from there. Thank you very much. Thank you, HOD, for the application. Now, we call on HOD Special Education to give us a brief summary of his department. Thank you, Mr. MC. Dean, Vice Dean, Professors, College Degrees, Senior Members, Staff, 
and our dear students. You are welcome to use your view and the back of, of educational service. Um, the Department of Social Education started with the insertion of this university. And so it is as old as you can say. So the name is Department of Social Education and it's currently located in FBS block in rooms 101, 102, 104, 106, and some other offices in the block. We have four units in the department. A unit for education of learners with visual impairments, unit for the education of learners with hearing impairments, unit for the education of learners with intellectual disabilities and the community-based rehabilitation and disability studies units. In addition, there are two, there are three centers. The Center for Hearing and Speech Assessment, located at the South Campus. The coordinator just intimated Dr. Fred that when it comes to um, medical examination for the pressures, you will be meeting. We have about four authorities over there and they will help you go through your medical examination because you need hearing to be able to pursue your academic work. Good. We have the Center for Special Needs Students, also located in room 104 in a block. And in room 108, you have the Center for Sign Language and Interpreting. This tells you that we have students with special needs in our midst, as we have them in our homes, in our communities, and everywhere in the country or internationally. So don't be surprised to see students with blindness, visual impairment, hearing impairment, hard of hearing, deaf, and all those in your, your midst. We run programs from Diploma in Community-Based Rehabilitation, BA, Bachelor of Education in Community-Based Rehabilitation, in Special Education, MA, and then MPO programs, as well as um, doctoral programs, PhD. Um, these are all top courses and research-oriented, so they are easy space. The association of the department is CESA, Special Education Students Association. And once you are admitted into the department, you are an automatic member. So this afternoon, when we meet at uh, room 202 FPS at exactly at 1 o'clock, we will take you to the activities of the department. Thank you very much. Thank you, very, thank you very much, HOD, Social Education. Now, you go on HOD, Basic Education, to give us a brief address. Junior high 
high school option, that is Remia and Sandwich. Then post diploma in basic education, our primary option, also Remia and Sandwich. And then we have diploma in education by Sandwich. We have an association called Basic Education Students Association, BESA for short. Tomorrow we will let you know that we are going to have our workshop, our orientation for the various groups. Graduate students and then the undergraduate students. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears and your toes open, and then we'll get the answer. Thank you. Thank you, Education Basic Education. Thank you, Education Foundation, to give a brief address. The uh, new students joining the university, I bring you warm welcome from the Department of Educational Foundations. Um, as the name suggests, it is the department that deals with all the foundational courses in education. The department is the youngest yet the oldest. Just as the patient said, it used to be part of the Department of uh, Psychology and Education. And just last year, it was split to become the uh, Department of Education and Foundations. So we have existed as old as the university, yet as a department, we are very young. Our mandate is twofold. We run all the professional education courses for all students in the University of Education. Um, and so, regardless of the department you are meeting in, you might be taking courses from our department at one point or the other. And the department is made up of experts in various fields in education who will help your dream of becoming a professional teacher become a reality. We are located in the department in the Faculty of Educational Studies building. Uh, the general administration office is at FES120. Uh, the exam, the postgraduate coordinator's office is room, room 120. The general office is 119, and the general course coordinator's office is 320. If you have issues related to general courses, you contact the, contact the general course coordinator. Um, we have postgraduate programs as well. Most of our postgraduate programs are summaries, i.e. postgraduate diploma in education and then master of education in school supervision. This year, we are very happy to introduce our very first uh, group of regular MPO students who are in to read master of philosophy in curriculum and pedagogic studies. And I understand a lot of you are here. The announcement to you is that if you haven't registered at the department yet, Passed by the development soon after we move from here and register, and further instructions will be communicated to you. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you. Yes, the now department is a, a department of educational administration and management. During the introduction, she wasn't here. Uh, the department is headed by Professor Professor Esuna, and he's here to give a brief. My name, Professor Gifford, lies the faculty members and dear students. You are welcome to University of Education. My department, as you heard, is Education Administration in my team. And we only run graduate programs. Uh, M field in education administration and management and M edge top up. We started a PhD also in educational leadership uh, in strategic leadership, educational policy and school leadership. The department is uh, there to groom leaders to manage our educational institutions, like um, our schools, our district, and regional, and other institutions that have 
educational programs. So when you are finished with your um, first degree and want to be in a leadership position, that department is there for you to apply. And so we have also top up those who do um, the MEC can top up to do MEC, you know, educational administration and management. And so I recommend the department for you to, uh, if you want to be in a leadership position in education and other institutions that are out educational uh, components, then the department is there for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, uh, the question will, have, will be done by the Vice Dean, Professor Sevinay Chidansu. Thank you very much. <laughs> Prof. Dean, uh, colleague lecturers, um, cherished students, uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you for the first time uh, this year and this academic uh, year. And um, may have been said to you, you've been taking through the fact. Uh, I told the team, the team did ev almost everything that we wanted to tell you over here, including uh, the COVID-19 issues. So I'm here just to uh, purchase what has already been said. I know that departments have made arrangements for you to, you know, to meet you and give you in-depth orientation uh, so that you know uh, how to cope with situations here in the university. But let me uh, reiterate a few points. That is on the COVID-19. Uh, the university, very much aware of your safety, has taken certain measures to help you not to protect you and to protect your lectures. And these are the things that I want to spell out to you. The first one is the university hospital. There is a very beautiful, a very um, good hospital um, here. A new one has been put up, almost uh, completed. And so the hospital is there to take care of your health issues. In fact, don't go anywhere. If you are sick, if you are indisposed, please, don't hide in your hostel, don't hide in your dormitories. Please go to the university hospital and have um, uh, experts over there to uh, handle you, to treat you, to actually attend to your situation. Then number two, uh, just last week, the whole university has been humiliated, including uh, this auditorium. So um, this is one of the measures that the university has taken just to protect you. Everywhere has been humiliated in the university. Then the third one is that uh, more lecture theatres have been provided. If you look beyond um, uh, uh, Faculty of Educational Studies, there are two new lecture on uh, how many? Uh, about four that have been uh, erected over there. And it, is, uh, it, it takes about 500 students at a go, you know, with modern facilities. So we were thinking about this, so we have. Uh, make provision for your lecture theaters, right? And then, um, at the university entry points, before you enter the university, you see the checkpoints, the gate over there. They check your temperature and they, they check whether you are in no smarts, you are, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in tune with the protocols. So these are some of the things that um, uh, the university have done for you to protect you and to protect your respect. Just as the dean said, please take care of yourself, protect yourself and protect others, especially when you go uh, into your lectures and when you go out and meet up with people in the community. I thank you very much and I hope that you adhere to all the protocols that we have mentioned and you will actually live to expectations. Please Take your studies serious. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, I'm not sure about that thing. Students, uh, Mr. Sabah will give us a, sh a short closing prayer. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
in the wind. There are those coming in through the day. Thank you very much. Shall we pray? Father, we are grateful. We thank you for the gracious you have found. It's our prayer that you grant the grace. It's our grace to implement all that you have had here for the success of our program here at the university. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
departments that run related programs. Sometimes we also use faculty to mean members of uh, academic community. So for this purpose, we are going to talk about a group of departments that run related programs. Our faculty is called Faculty of Social Science Education. And it is being headed by a team. And I'm grateful that I stand in that state. My name is Dr. Lucy H. Atom. I'm supported by the Vice Dr. Ishmael Jackson. He is our mentee today. And I have behind me heads of departments of five departments and two centers. And I will take this opportunity to introduce the heads of departments. Uh, we have the head of department social studies education. The major department that gave them to all of you. The department of social studies education gave them to the faculty. And we have in our midst, Ms. Hackler, to follow in class. Can we have all the lecturers in social studies department supporting me, please be in your feet. All the lecturers who are present here. There are so many of them who will be joining us as we go through this program. We have the head of department of economic education, Dr. Ansel Komla Abochi. from the economic education supporting Dr. Ansel. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. We have the head of department geography education, Dr. Inok Sam. And we have the lecturers from geography education supporting him. Thank you very much. We have head of department, history education, Mr. Eric Nketia, Mr. Sechi Nketia. Our topic for today is heavily supported by the department, the members of the department. Please kindly be on your feet to show that you are here with our editorials. Thank you for coming. We also have um, the Department of Political Science Education being headed by Dr. Amaku Dampa. Please, <laughs> the lecturers to support, show support by uh, waving us. We want to see all the Political Science Education lecturers. The largest department in the faculty. Thank you 
very much for being with us. Uh, 
And you have to buy it very expensive because it was cast for what it did. It was a time, came to a time where there was a chest. You wake up as a student, you come and look for a chair, you put your bones, stones, leaves to occupy that space before you can have the chest. That is how far we have been. Some of these problems and challenges are still lingering. And one can be inadequate offices for lectures. Yet, they were able, and they have been able to achieve this piece. And so, the information to me is that you can also make good of whatever you find around you, and you work within a situation to come out with the best that you can be. There are support systems available for um, your academic work and other endeavors. We have academic counselors, we have counseling center, we have IT services, we have VC scholarship, guest fund scholarship and others. We have Vodafone, we have uh, counselors, they still supporting some females and other um, help available to you to help you stay on this campus uh, with ease. This faculty is unique, and by extension, the industry is one of a kind. All the staff are professional teachers, and there is a cordial relationship, and I will be cordial relationship among students, staff, 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 students, any direction. And this is unique if you have to compare this with other universities in the country. Our students dress in a decent manner and behave as leaders. Of course, you are being trained to be professionals, professional teachers and then professionals in any endeavor that you find yourself in. You are therefore entitled to allow yourself to receive holistic education that will activate all aspects of your personality. Your intellect, emotions, imagination, body for effective and comprehensive education. Our faculty is fertile ground. It is a fertile ground for your total development in terms of academic, spiritual, social, emotional intelligence. You are expected to develop values, confidence, strong sense of identity in the course of your engagement in academic work and other activities. Very soon, you will start lectures, be asked to engage in group work, project work, assignments, on campus teaching practice, off campus teaching practice, and many others. In all these activities, there are some qualities, inherent qualities that you will um, learn, you will acquire for life. Nobody will take you to the lecture hall and teach you human relationship and teach you taking initiative to be a group, group leader, nobody will do that. But I not try to learn from his uh, academic related activities. We also have other activities in the faculty and in the departments. Um, various departments, they organize um, programs from time to time. We have subject association week, and you have to join your subject association. And participate actively in their programs. We also have the Faculty of Social Science International Conference. We have seminars. Some of these are for lecturers and non some are for both lecturers and students. For lecturers and students, and there are some that are for students, but lecturers are supposed to also engage in those activities with you. We have workshops, we have talks, and we will have a debate. We have um, some departments already instituting a uh, data to estimate what they have done for the year, and I can talk about the history departments. We have lectures going on retreat to prepare fully for our work, and then we have a session in all for students taking part, lecturers supporting them. From time to time, there is health screening at the various departments. And so, this is just the introduction for what will happen at the various departments. And for you to, for, for the health to work your appetite, I'll just talk briefly and then they'll come and introduce themselves formally and tell you what 
all you should expect. Um, during the orientation at the department level, these issues and other related ones will be addressed in a comprehensive manner. The first one I'll talk about is adherence to COVID-19 protocols. They want to talk to you about discipline, hierarchy in the system, and in the flow of information. The need for you to avoid noise pollution. Um, the need for you to adhere to time management. They will talk to you about course registration, medical examination, which is a condition for you to get your ID card. They will talk to you about letters and timetable issues and other um, activities in their respective departments. This and many more, they will add more. So don't miss the departmental uh, orientation. We know you will enjoy your stay and be happy that you chose the Faculty of Social Science Education in the University of Education. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dean. Before the ladies come, um, information um, I have gotten right now is that officials from the Student Loan Trust Fund are around. And students who are interested in taking the loan, um, they will pass some sheets around so they want to take your records so they can reach out to you so you can pass on them. Um, they to this school, schedule uh, for two times and then meet the, their students. So we are going to be very brief. We get um, maybe some two minutes round up and then so we can um, follow it here. Um, we'll start with part of social studies education. Economics, 
who want to or who ought to do social studies as their second area of study. So we accept the food from that. But it is normally on first and first set basis because uh, we, we, the department ended that we opened uh, the floodgates. We, we get oversubscribed uh, applications. So we normally use some ways of getting those that we can deal with. Then, most of our programs are residential, just like your plan. Apart from the, uh, the sandwich program, which is offered during holidays, we have not yet started with the evening program, but in, the, in due course, we are likely to introduce executive masters where we give opportunities for people who are uh, doing work and would like to uh, avail themselves for progress in their career. There is, uh, yesterday, some one student came to me and said that she wanted to do French as uh, her second area. Uh, we, we are yet considering that to see whether it will be possible for students from the department to move outside the faculty so that uh, you can also have experience. We've not yet come to a conclusion on that. And what we do, we shall communicate to you. Uh, mostly we accept students from other faculties too, particularly those doing special education. We absorb them because special education is not a teachable subject. So you must have a subject that you can teach. And mostly they come to social studies. And we offer them that opportunity to study and be able to go and teach in their areas. In brief, this is what I have for you because it's a hard to me. So I can do that.
right right now. I want to be very clear. Others are talking about giving birth to all of us. You can give birth to others, but they can overtake you. <laughs> So this is the department you are coming to that you are the, the first department which set the pace for others to follow. And very soon, very soon you will attest to that. Talk about geography anywhere and we live on campus and then people look at you, then you must be a good student. Sure. Right. I want to be very brief. We have scheduled, and this is the pace setting I was talking about. Before I was saying, we have already done it. We have scheduled Tuesday 19th of this month for the departmental orientation for you as freshers and for the continuous students so that together you come to know much about the department. We hear a lot of topics to be discussed. We share experiences, we will listen to you, what you have to say. And Aside, we want to build you up and then contribute to who you intend to become in future. So on behalf of the department and on our own behalf, we welcome you to the university and to the best department on campus. Enjoy your stay.
and you will never regret you came to this world. Thank you.
is our product. I don't bring cameras. Apart from the current IDP, we can dispose of other graduates in key sensitive areas like security agencies, like NCC and Peace Council. The rest of the details I will have when we go back home. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Um, time is fast and we are going to spend just some time here. And uh, one hour is going to be so um, I think that time you have allowed you students to come up with your comments and questions and observations. But because the other group is waiting behind, we want you to reserve your questions and comments and then ask them at the departmental level. I hope that is okay. Because uh, we have to allow the other groups to also have their friends. But before the dean comes in, let me see by hand students from. Is a graduate student here? Are there any graduate students here? All right. Yes, my hand. Then, um, those from social studies education. Show my hand. Or you can, you can just um, get up with them um, so that you can see. Those from social studies department. Yes, right. All right, you are welcome. Economics, education. Those from economics department. You are welcome. Those from the graphic department. The graphic department. You are also welcome. History department. History. All right. Political science department. All right. Department, and my expectation is that I'll have good lectures 
learn and bring out the best. Yeah, um, I'm LD Harun Yakub, and um, I'm affiliated to Political Science Department. And then um, I can say I've heard a lot about um, the program or the department, Political Science, comprises um, a number and a vast student on campus. So I can say that I'm very, very happy um, being admitted to the department, and then I'm looking forward to achieve almost the best. I'm, I'll do almost the best that I can to at least come out a very successful grade like. As for me, my concern is to get a first class and then I'm very ambitious um, upcoming politician. So I'm looking forward to all this and then I'm praying to the almighty God to help me in my stay in campus. Thank you very much. My name is Nana Kwame Bwama Jr. I'm in the faculty of social science department and I'm here to offer economics. The reason why I'm here to offer economics is because way back as a church, I was very, very poor in economics and my economics teacher once told me, Nana, you can make it, Nana, you can make it. I was able to pick up and by the time I realized I got B2 in economics, I also encouraged myself that why don't I also come and offer economics here so that in the near future I can also be teaching economics and also advise my colleagues who find it very difficult in offering economics and some say it's economics but I think it is not like that but if you make up your mind you can surely make it thank you uh, I'm Isaac uh, I'm a first year I'm student of the University of Education Winneba and my dream was to be a student here and, and I hope I have achieved it and I'm praying that one day my dream will come true so I leave everything to God and I know, I know I will be one of the best students of this institution. Yeah, I thank God for that, so. I'm Grand Mary Isaba from uh, Ashanti region and I'm here to read political science. And I know political science is a very good um, um, course for us to read. And I know at the end I'll get better. Yeah, my name is Brenya Kufi Prince. I'm in UEW, I'm here to offer geography. And I'm in the Faculty of Social Science, yeah, Social Science Department. And my ambition of offering geography is to become like, in the mining sector, a geographer, and also I want to teach too, like my second job. That's why I'm here to offer geography in UEW. Thank you. I'm Nana Kosia Shalot. I'm here to read economics. I'm in the faculty of the social sciences. It is my ambition to one day become an economist. Yeah, that's it. Victor Mensa, um, Norbert Sua. Um, uh, I'm reading geography in the faculty of social science. And I want to be a geographer or a surveyor. And that is my wish during this four year course in Winnie Bar. Thanks. Okay, I also go by the name Derek Pinto and I'm reading political science under the social sciences department. I want to be a political analyst one day and that's my wish during this first day at the campus. Thank you. Yeah, my name is James Siamua, a political science student. I choose UUW because I, I, I hope it can help me to achieve my aim because they are, they are one of the best universities in this country and have produced a lot of good leaders that has contributed to the best of this country. And my aim is to become one of the best political leaders in this country.